Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am really excited for this video because it's something that is very, 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 very important to me. I love human design, okay? I love human design. I love talking about it. I love teaching it. I love looking at my own chart, looking at other people's charts. I love doing readings. It's amazing. Literally my most favorite thing to do right now in the entire world, okay? Um, my problem is that uh, the way that I want to help people with human design is very limited because working with people one-on-one -on -one is amazing and I love it, but I want to help more people on a larger scale, which is why I started my YouTube channel in the first place. But I don't want to just give surface level information, you know, like I love teaching, but I really want to help people learn how to live their designs. I want to teach people how to embody their designs. Like I, giving people a bunch of information about, you know, their gates and their types and their authorities is great, but how do you take that information and live it? How do you take that information and apply it to your business, relationships, uh, whatever is going on in your life how can I implant the information in your brain in a way that makes it easily accessible for you to actually go out and be the generator and be the reflector and be the manifester whatever it is that you are how can I help you do that so this new thing that I'm doing is living your design and I'm gonna be going through all of the elements that I think are particularly important and giving you questions, journal prompts um, that will help you kind of start to really take action on living these things and not just looking at them on a paper or looking at them in a reading and be like, oh, okay, that's nice. And then, you know, tucking it away in a folder somewhere. No, we are living this, okay? We are doing the damn thing, all right? So what I wanna focus on in this video is your energy type and before I get into that I do want to inform everyone that I am doing a free three-day Facebook challenge change your, I'm calling it the change your life challenge and it's basically manifestation mindset work and goal setting all wrapped into one challenge and the goal for this challenge for me is to help you change your life in 90 days I want you to wake up three months from now and not be in the same place that you are right now. I want you to wake up three months from now and look at your life and be like, yeah, I'm on my way or I'm where I need to be. That's what I want from this challenge. So this is a free challenge. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to, <laughs> right? Like none of that. If you're interested in joining the challenge, it will be starting on Monday, not, not today, obviously, next Monday. And all you have to do is join my Facebook group and I'll have the link in the description box and I'll put it in the comment, all that good stuff. So if you're interested, please join us and it's gonna be great. So enough of my talking, let's get into the video. So I don't know what's going on outside, but <laughs> I think somebody just died. Um, okay, so for generators, if you haven't seen my generator video, I will link it up here um, so you can go and watch that. I don't wanna get into it in this video, but for generators, what I want you to do every single day, the two questions that I want you to ask yourself are what feels exciting for me to do or to work on today? What feels exciting for me to do or to work on today? And what feels exciting for me to share and how do I want to share it? Now this doesn't necessarily apply if you don't have a business, but I'm thinking from like a business perspective because this is what I do for myself every day. I'll ask myself, um, well I'm not a generator, but I'm, I'm a manifesting generator, so I'll ask myself, um, you know, a question or whatever. I'm going to get into that later. And then I'll ask myself, what feels exciting? What feels like an exciting way for me to share this information with my audience? Because that's what I do. That's what I do. I'm a, I'm a business owner. So when I get excited about something, I get to go and share that with my audience. And then, you know, that's how I run my business. If you are not a business owner, then you don't have to do this. You don't have to share, you know, if you don't want to. But if you are a business owner or something that requires you to be in like the public eye or whatever, this is a good question to ask. What feels like an exciting way for me to share what I'm excited about right now? So for generators, what feels exciting 
for me to do or to work on today and what feels like an exciting way for me to share my excitement. So that is for generators. For manifesting generators, and this is something that I do every single day, I will ask myself, where am I putting limits on myself? Like where am I putting unnecessary rules on myself? What would it look like for me to be all of me right now? And what feels like an exciting way to share what I'm working through right now? So this was a big thing for me in the last few weeks as I've been kind of setting up my business in a more aligned way. I used to plan out my content like, you know, days and weeks ahead of time. And that didn't work for me because I would wake up and the thing that felt exciting for me to share three weeks ago when I planned my content was not the thing that felt exciting for me to share now. And it would make me really, really annoyed <laughs> and angry because I'm like, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I want to talk about, you know, something else. So now I wake up and I'm like, well, what are the rules that I'm putting on myself? Oh, well, I, I have to plan my content, you know, three weeks in advance. I have to do this. I have to do that. Do I really, though? Do I really, though? No, I don't. What would it look like if I were being all of me? Well, I would plan, I would plan my content the day of. The day of, I would plan, what am I going to talk about today? What feels exciting for me to talk about today? And then I would share it in whatever way felt exciting. Live video, audio, email. Who knows? <laughs> you know? Um, but that is when I really started to open up into my energy type and really align with being a manifesting generator and stop doing things the way that they were supposed to be done. Because really, who came up with these rules, right? The rules really are, are, are bullshit. Like, the marketing gods didn't come down from the, science, the sky and say, this is what you must do to be successful. No, because there's plenty of people who aren't following those rules who are successful. So, screw the rules, okay? That was my rant for the day. <laughs> so, manifesting generators. Where am I putting limits on myself? Or where am I putting unnecessary rules on myself? What would it look like to be all of me right now? And then if you're a business owner or, you know, whatever... What feels like an exciting way to share what I'm working through? What feels exciting for me to share right now? Okay? Okay. So, now we are going to move on to projectors. And for projectors, you have a lot to work through. Okay? So, you have three prompts as well. And the first is, how can I hone my zone of genius today? So, if you're a projector and you have not located or figured out what your zone of genius is, Again, if you haven't seen my projector video, make sure you watch it. Um, that would be your first thing. You want to figure out what that is. And then every single day, you want to ask yourself, how do I want to work on this thing today? This thing that I am naturally good at. How do I want to cultivate that? Do I want to read more about it? Do I want to actually, you know, practically practice it? Do I want to put it to good use? Do I want to tell someone about it? However, do I want to take a course on it? However you want to cultivate that skill however you want to hone your zone of genius you need to do something every single day that's related to it whether that's learning practicing skill building whatever every single day you need to make time to cultivate that part of yourself and then you want to ask yourself how do i want to relax and recharge because again for projectors rest and recharging and relaxation is very very important you are not an energy being you cannot go 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 all the time you're going to burn out so ask yourself how do i want to relax and recharge today what feels good for me to do to relax today and then actually do it that's the thing when you're done asking yourself these questions you have to actually do the thing that you said felt good to do if 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 that wasn't clear, you gotta actually do the thing, okay? Um, and then the third thing for projectors, even if you aren't a business owner for projectors, it's actually really important for you to tell people about the things that you're doing. So even if you're not a business owner, you know, even if you're not, <laughs> even if this isn't your job, because you are a projector, that means you're a guide. And the things that you're naturally good at on this planet are the things that you're meant to help others with. But if people don't know that that's what you're doing, if people don't know that that's, you know, what you're good at, they're not going to know that they need your help. You can guide if 
you don't have anyone to guide. So for projectors, it's really important for you, even if you're not a business owner, even if that's not what you do as a profession, it's still really important for you to let others know what you're working on, what you're working through in terms of that area, in terms of your zone of genius, if that makes sense. So for projectors, how do I want to hone my zone of genius today? How do I want to rest and relax and recharge my energy today? And how do I want to share my, how do I want to share what I'm working on? How do I want to share what I'm learning in regards to your zone of genius? I hope that made sense. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're going to move on to manifestors. And manifestors, you, could, you guys kind of have it easy. You and generators have it have it fairly easier than, than the rest of us, uh, which is great. So for manifestors, what I want you to ask yourself is, what do I want to do or create today? Because that's what manifest manifestors... <laughs> Because that's what manifestors do. You are the innovators, you are the leaders, you are the creators. So if, you know, you wake up and you're like, huh, I think I want to, I don't know, write a cookbook. Or I think I want to start a business milking turtles. I don't know. <laughs> you get to honor that. Because that idea clearly came from the universe. And now it's up to you to bring that into fruition. You are the conduit. You are the channel that brings that idea into fruition. And then number two, how do I want to share what I'm doing today? For manifestors, it's also really important for you to tell people what you're doing. Your strategy is to inform. So even if you're not a business owner, like I mentioned with the projectors, you are meant to tell people what you're doing, even if you're not a business owner. Like, put on your Facebook page, hey, I'm starting a turtle milking business. You know, or, or um... I don't know if you're in college, you know, putting up flyers that's talking about, you know, your new turtle milking business. And when you inform in that way, you then give people the opportunity to jump on your project and help you with it. Because eventually you're going to want to move on to something else. But in order to do that, you have to make sure you have people who are able to keep it going when you're not there anymore. Because your job is, your job is to create things. It's not always to finish things. So when you start the thing and you bring people on to help you that frees you up to then go and create something else so you really need to make sure that you are telling people what you're doing once you've decided what it is that you're going to do even if you're not like i said a business owner so for manifestors what do i want to do or create today and how do i want to inform people about what i'm doing okay does that make sense and again <laughs> You want to make sure that you're not just like answering these questions, just like, oh, well, she said I should do this, so I'm just going to answer these questions, but I'm not actually going to do it. If you're not going to do it, then there's there's no point. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Like, write, do the journal prompts or whatever, answer the questions, and then let yourself do what you said that you wanted to do. You know? It doesn't have to be long or complicated you don't have to spend all day doing it if all you have is 30 minutes then all you have is 30 minutes that's fine but give yourself the freedom give yourself the permission to answer your soul's call give yourself the permission to do what feels good for you to do that day even if it's 10 minutes even if it is 10 minutes give yourself permission to do what feels good for you to do okay okay lastly reflectors for reflectors it's <laughs> for reflectors it is really really important that you ask yourself what environment feels good or exciting for me to be in today because for you your environment is so important because you're picking you pick up on everyone's energy so you need to make sure that you're cultivating environments that feel good for you. So ask yourself, what environment does it feel good for me to be in today? If you're feeling kind of, you know, low vibe or, or not really feeling being around a whole bunch of people, then going to a party probably isn't the best environment for you to be in. Maybe try going to a coffee shop or maybe, you know, like a small bookstore 
or if you're feeling like you know I want to I really want to expand today like I really want to feel expansive maybe going to a concert is a good idea maybe going to the mall where there's going to be a lot of people for you to kind of just sit in and soak up that energy maybe that's aligned for you that day and that's fine but ask yourself what am I feeling like today and what environment would feel good for me to put myself in this is really really important you do not have to put yourself into a, an environment that doesn't feel good for you you have the option to not put yourself into an environment if it doesn't feel aligned for you that day you have that option you have that option if you need to take a leave of absence from school if you need to take a sick day or whatever if you're just like I cannot put myself in the environment of my job right now or I cannot put myself in the environment of that particular class day don't do it honor that honor yourself honor your energy the class will be there the job will be there you'll be okay but honor yourself honor your energy okay second one for manifestors I mean, wow for reflectors um, where is the moon right now? Where is the moon right now? And how do I feel in general? This is really, really, really important because, um, I'm going to go into this when I do my video on authority, but as reflector, you are a lunar being, which means the moon has a very big effect on you in particular. So charting the moon as it passes through, you know, the different gates in 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 the, in the cosmos in the sky is very important for you because as the moon activates different parts of your chart you are going to feel differently depending on where it is so every day you want to make sure you know where the moon is and how are you feeling generally and as you start to do this daily you're going to start to see a pattern like every 28 days as you go through and look down at you know your daily moon journaling you're going to see oh when the moon is passing through, you know, Scorpio or Gemini or whatever, you're going to see that you feel differently from when it's passing through Gemini or when it's passing through Sagittarius, you know? So pay attention to that. And um, again, what feels like a good way to share? As a reflector, you are here to show everyone what they're doing well and what they need to work on. So what feels good, what feels like a good way for you to share that information? Maybe it's speaking to that person directly. Maybe it's doing a video. Maybe it's starting a podcast. Who knows? But honor that. So I know that was a lot. So I'm going <laughs> to for reflectors. What environment feels good or exciting or surprising for me to be in today? Where's the moon right now? Or where's the moon today? And how do I feel? and what feels like an exciting way to share what I've learned. So, the purpose of these prompts, as I've mentioned, is to help you begin to live your design. Not just stare at it on paper, not just stare at it in a chart, or not to hear me say it, like if you get a reading with me and you hear me saying all these words, it's to get you out. It's to get you embodying it. Because when you start to embody it, when you really start to align with who you are, everything starts to, sh I, I promise you, everything starts to shift and flow the moment, the moment that I started working my business in a way that was aligned for me as a manifesting generator, the clients came in, the podcast interviews came in. I have done two different podcast interviews in the two weeks that I've been doing my business completely differently. I've gotten so many clients. When you start to live in alignment, everything shifts, everything changes, and I want that for you. And this is the beginning, this is the start. So I hope that this was helpful. If you are interested in joining my free Facebook challenge, I will have the link below in the description and in the comment. And I will see you in my next video, which will probably be authority, so watch out for that. And yeah, I will see you next time.